Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Hawks DIY. Well, with anything that you buy, use, you know, you're buy, you're taking a risk, you're taking a chance. Well, I bought a bass boat yesterday, and uh, if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. But uh, I bought a bass boat yesterday, and uh, the trailer, the brakes on it, the caliper came loose on it. And when I went to go back up, uh, back the trailer up into the driveway, it uh, got wedged in the tire and uh, it just blew the tire out. So uh, I'm gonna have to get down here and, and get this, uh, caliper I just got it hanging loose right now I put my put the spare tire on uh, temporarily and uh, so I need to get the uh, the uh, part number off of the uh, caliper and get it replaced so that's going to be the project for this video and oh here's the tire that blew out check this out look at the hole it did punctured in the rim so this rim and tire is no good so that's going to be the video of the project and hopefully we can get it knocked out pretty quick wish me luck Well, first I thought I'd show you all the brake parts that come off the caliper. These are the clips. They're bent all to pieces. You know, one bolt and it's bent. Look how bad it's bent. And then this part of the caliper that broke off. And look how bad the brake pad is. It's horrible. So these brakes are definitely going to have to be addressed. If it looks that bad on that side, I'm sure the other side is, is probably not good. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Jeff's out here working. What are you doing, Jeff? Fixing a remote. Fixing a remote? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's beautiful out here today, but man, it's kind of windy. So, it should warm up here a little bit. Maybe I can get this, uh, go ahead and take this cover off this boat, tinker around up in it, and mess around too, so. All right, let's go. Well, it's Monday morning, and I got the cover off the boat, and me and Jeff's out here working on the brakes. Kind of situation where Jeff's going to have to do most of the work, because I did something to my right arm, man. I pulled a muscle. It's killing me, man. So anyway, Jeff's down here pulling that caliper off. So anyway. Hey, so what we got going on is uh, this caliper's bad. So first my idea was to maybe take, put the bolt back, one of these bolts. One of them chopped out and then it caused it to get, it, it yeah. was a bad deal. But this one is bent as you can see. And, but I was thinking I could put it in so that I could get a little leverage. But then I realized if you come down here, Chuck, I want to point you at this. This type of caliper has a banjo. Let me see this. I can't hardly get down there, Jeff, with if the way you, this. Here, I'll, I'll get out of the way so you guys can see. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Chuck. So, this is a banjo. They call it a banjo nut. So, this should just come off. So we don't have to mess with that 3A spitting 
and it's on there. So maybe we can just take the banjo bolt out and then it'll just drain down in the pan. Hopefully. Otherwise, I gotta try to put this bolt back in for a few threads, which I might do anyway, just because I gotta have something to like grab a hold of, you know. So you know you can't see it, but I can just cut. Well, hopefully it'll come undone. I I soaked them with that PB blaster yeah, overnight, a lot of times that just so doesn't do anything, you know. But hoping, you know. So anyway. That's what we got going on, and then I've got, uh, I've got, I'm up here on top, I'm vacuuming out the rod lockers and kind of starting to organize things, and uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta set your peepers on these things, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, here's our tires over here. So we got a lot going on. Obviously we got the other rear tire off. But my, my whole agenda is to get new brakes on the rear axle and new tires right away. That way, you know, the brunt of the weight is on that rear axle, so you gotta get it right, you know. So anyway, that's- I hate working on trailers. Do I? I hate working on trailers. Yeah, they're not fun, are they? trailer but they're not they're not as simple as everybody thinks they are. No they're not. Oh you just do that. Well yeah you go ahead. <laughs> so anyway folks that's what we got going on. Alright Jeff got the uh both brake uh calipers off so uh now it's just a matter of of uh, getting online, getting some new calipers ordered. So uh, anyway, that's what's going on here. We got at least got those off. So uh, let's see what I choose. I guess as far as parts, there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of brand uh, brake calipers out there, so I got to do a little bit of research. So uh, let's see where that leads us. Thought I'd show you this real quick. Uh, this is the one that Jeff just pulled off that didn't break. But look at the uh, dry rotting on the piston seal. It's pretty bad. But the pads don't look too bad. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you that. There's the damaged one I showed you earlier. Oh, my arm is killing me. So there's the other side. So anyway, let's uh, figure out what we gotta do here. Well, I'm out here uh, working on the boat, and I was able to get the uh, brake calipers ordered. So the soonest they'll be in is probably Friday, so that's several days from now. So I thought I'd work on some other things. And uh, so I got up here in the boat, and uh, I cleaned, I cleaned the, this, rod locker here but it's locked can't show you but and then I cleaned that out I cleaned the uh, main box out but I come over here and I was like man that ain't gonna work <laughs> no I'm gonna take this the uh, these rod holders I'm gonna take them out I don't see any reason to keep them in there. I'll have much more room in there without without them. Uh, I could lay a lot more rods in there uh, without that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that 
and pull that out today so that and get this all vacuumed out. So I've already vacuumed out the other one. So just moving right along. You know, one thing at a time. So we get this axle done. Jeff changed the lower unit oil. So we did discover a little bit of water, which is, you know, concerning. But I told him to just fill it back up and we're going to run it one day one full day and then drain it and then we'll see if it does have an issue so put a new vent drain plug seal so yeah so we'll see what happens hopefully you know it was just a matter of neglect and, and hopefully it'll seal off properly you know who knows how long that lower units uh, oil has been changed so anyway well, it's a few days later, and I thought, uh, you know, we're still waiting on parts. The brakes will be here uh, later today, so probably around 4 o'clock or so. But uh, I just wanted to stop and uh, give you a quick tip on uh, something very important. Whenever uh, I got the boat and uh, I got to you know, really inspecting it, you know, a lot closer, I noticed that the uh, kill switch lanyard was really bad. So here it is. It's really dry and brittle. And man, if you were thrown from the boat, that would snap in no time. Look at that. So be sure, guys, to uh, uh, check that. That's one of the things you need to check if you're buying a, uh, a new boat or a used boat. Uh, I went over to Bass Pro and I got me a new one. So I'm going to get that dude installed and, and be good to go. So I just wanted to share that tip. All right. Since we're uh, talking about uh, little tips and tricks, uh, I just thought I would bring up the uh, trailer, uh, the cabling that they have on here. I, I just hate these as far as hooking up to your tow package on your vehicle. I hate these things, man. They're just difficult to work with and, and you can never get them on there the way you really want them. So uh, I'm going to replace these, and I bought uh, some 24-inch chains, safety chains, that I'm going to put on there. So that's another good tip, guys. These safety chains are awesome. These actually come with the, uh, fuck, it's hard to do with two hands, but you can see the clip there. So it clips on and actually keeps them in place and keeps them from coming back off so anyway uh go put these on and and that'll be a good little upgrade well there you have it guys i got the new chains put on much better i had to fix the uh the ground wire right here i had to fix that uh, what happened was they taped this, uh, the wiring, trailer wiring, to these cables here. And these are those cables that I don't like. Well, because they had it taped to these, it pulled the, it pulled the ground wire out. So it wasn't being properly grounded either. So I'm glad I uh, did this upgrade. I just, these things, I don't like them, okay? Some of you guys might like them, but I don't like them. I like these. So anyway, and oh, these got the, the clips on them, which is really cool so that they won't back out. 
that's really cool. And I think this is a uh, uh, much better upgrade. So I got that done. So yesterday uh, I went through the battery compartment and really worked on the wiring, got it cleaned up, got the batteries cleaned up, and rerouted all of the uh, charging lines to each battery so they wasn't so cluttered. And then uh, I labeled the batteries. So there's two charging banks. There's a, a bank A and bank B. And then I labeled each battery 1A or 2A or, or 1B or 2B. So anyway, here's what it looks like now after all my work. I got it a lot cleaner and uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned about this battery because um, that one's not wanting to charge. And I maintenance all the batteries uh, and got some distilled water, uh, topped them off. And uh, all the batteries seem to be stout except for that one. And uh, so I'm going to see if it'll wake it back up by adding that distilled water. If not, I may have to replace that one. Hopefully, hopefully it'll wake up. All right, guys. Well, it's Friday and the brake calibers showed up. So that's a good thing. We'll be able to get started on this project and get it done. Uh, these are E trailer brakes said so, well it doesn't say it says Dexter but uh, I got these from e trailer and uh, but there's the part numbers we've got k 71 773 02 and then we got k 71 773 01 and this one is the left hand and that's the right hand. So these are stainless steel. The, the brake pads uh, come already installed on it. And uh, so we're ready to put these dudes on and get going on this project. Uh, I have tires coming. They'll be here later today, which means that I'll have to uh, take them and get them mounted and balanced but you know we're slowly getting this project done and and uh, I'm pretty excited about it all right gotta get the holes lined up All right, guys, I'm just putting the bolts on the caliper, going into the bracket, going through the bracket into the caliper. I'm just trying to get the bolts threaded first. Hardware, get a new bit. Yeah. I may. It, I think. I think. Yeah. So that bit. I mean, it's not right. It's like a standard, and you've got a metric thing. You know, you're never gonna get the torque on it. You need. No. You know. So you're probably gonna have to. We're gonna have to find a bit. Now I thought I had a bit, but apparently I don't. Um, the thing to do would we have to go to like Harbor Freight and get them because you know they've got it standard and then they've got it metric. Yeah, I'm sure that yours is standard that you got right there. So, all 
All right, I'm gonna have to get a different bit, so that's where we're at. All right, well, while you're doing that, I guess I'm gonna go and work on Oscar's boat. All right, guys, I got the right, the right socket. It's a nine millimeter hex is what you need. So uh, let's get back on this project and get it done, man. Once and for all, I'm tired of messing with this. Take my hat off. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, guys, got both sides, brake calibers are on. Bolts are torqued to uh, 30 foot pounds. So we're ready to put brake lines on. Well, good news, my new tire showed up. So I got two new tires to go on the rear axle. They're uh, Ooh, my camera just went droopy on us. Uh, they're Carlisle brand. 
So <clears throat> I went with these. They got a load range of C, which means they're a 50 PSI tire. Yeah, it says right there, 50 PSI. But these are uh, 20575R14s. And uh, what I liked about these is they have a better load rating. They actually, there's two, and this is a tip for all you bass guys. There's two Carlisle tires on the load C. There's one that has a load rating of uh, 1,760 pounds. But the ones I bought have clo have 2,049 is, uh, pounds as the load index. So they can handle a little heavier load. So I went with those instead. They were like $10 more a piece. That's a no brainer to me. Especially, you know, whenever you're, us bass guys, we put so much stuff in these boats that you know, we had a lot of weight. So uh, we're gonna get started on bleeding these brakes and then I'll have to figure out how to get those tires mounted and balanced. So that's where we're at. Well, that's another project completed. Uh, Jeff was able to get the brakes bled yesterday. Uh, we ran into a few snags there, but he was able to get it figured out. If you're interested in seeing that footage, go to Hawkeye Marine's YouTube channel, and uh, he should have a video soon, you know, as far as that goes. I didn't include it in this video because, uh, you know, I already had a lot of footage and my hard drive's uh, getting eat up, so. Uh, you can go over there and see it. I'll provide a link in the description. But anyway, uh, today, the next day, I got uh, the tires mounted and balanced. And they are installed and I, and cl I cleaned the rims as well. They look sharp. So the rear axle is done. Got everything done on that. So... I'm really happy with the result. So new brakes, new tires, and we're ready to go on that deal. But the next project coming up, and I'll have a video coming, is on the lower unit. And uh, unfortunately, it's leaking oil, so check it out. So that's going to be our next project. We'll have to take that lower unit off, put new seals in. Since it's off, go ahead and replace the water pump. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Click like, subscribe, and until next time, go do something. <laughs>